so many people I see each day scrapping on YouTube, make it pay. Dumpster diving and trash picking too. Great entertainment for me and you. Number you'll find will surprise you all. They're all making money and having a ball. Pallet Man, Shame Man TV, Treasure Hustlers, and Mr. Scrapper T, Recycle Dude, and Jackpot Digger. All making money and all getting bigger. Ian and Raphael, Marty too. Tucker and Sammy, how are you? Flipping Irish, a dumpster diving. Vulture and the Hulk, both high flying. Down on the ground is he waste band. Hard rubbish days that never end. Tackle stacks in his big white van. Scrap and blind, yeah, he's a man. Jimmy, Badger, and Gil Skills Scrapping it up to pay the bills Snobby and Dano and Jack Scrap Making money off all your crap Goblin, Marcus, and the Beard Never found a dumpster that they feared, oh yeah Moose in Alabama, same last name They scrap it up just the same Florida and Scrapper Dave Don't find anything they can't save Trash picking, dumpster diving Things we do to keep surviving Head in the dumpster, ice in the air The free is better and I don't care Head in the dumpster And ice in the air We're making money and we don't care. I've been sitting here for the last 10 minutes yapping, telling about my plans. And guess what? The dang camera wasn't even on. I mean, it was on, but it wasn't recording. How many times has that happened? Ted, don't it? So now I got to start over. Uh, I'm talking about my plans, what my plan is. Um, it's been raining for two days. Can't go, I ain't been to Publix in two days. I hate it. It's so much for sunny Florida. It's sunny when it ain't raining. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, my plans is this, folks. Um, I, I've been getting some uh, tips in the tip jar here and there that on the PayPal thing. Um, and I've been putting some money when I have a little extra into the account. And this account, this PayPal account, is not for anything except going towards getting that scooter. Uh, there is a... Well, given the problem that I have with my daughter bringing stuff in, she don't like it and all that stuff. And when I get that scooter, I can uh, increase my range. This thing will go up to 45 miles. 
uh, on a single charge. It's less than three miles to the storage unit. And I plan on getting one that's like 10 by 20, or 10 by 30 preferably. Uh, I like your 10 by 30s because they're open on both ends. They got a roll up door at both ends. And plus it has electric in it. So I can even charge my scooter while I'm sitting there working. And I will work in this thing. There's another Hornet. Hey, going at, where is that thing going? I know there's a Hornet's nest up there somewhere and I'm, I got my eye on you, buddy. Where are you going? He sees me looking at him. All right. Okay, you rascal. I don't kill them things indiscriminately. They have a purpose. Everything has a purpose. Anyway, I ain't gonna worry with it. There he went. Went in. Yeah, I see where he went. Anyway, uh, where the heck was I at? Uh, my plan is to get that big scooter and I can pull a trailer with that scooter. That thing's 500 watt motor instead of a 300 watt. So it's going to be a lot more stronger. got a lot more torque. The wheels instead of that. These wheels on my scooter I got here is 8 inches. And the wheels on this scooter is 16 inches. So it's going to have a lot more speed a lot it goes 21 miles an hour but uh i can get started in there and i've done that before when we lived in another in another area uh i can set up some benches in there and stuff and i can uh i, I can do my micro scrapping and processing in there um but that's the plan. That's the plan. And that, that'll get me out of my daughter's hair. That'll give me, huh, as Cruiser Max said, man cave. So I'll have my own little man cave. And can't nobody tell me what to do in there or not to do. I can do whatever I want. And I ain't got the contingent hide scrap I get from my daughter. And I do, I hide a bunch. I hide a bunch. She'd be having hissy fits right and left if she knew what I hid from her. And if you watch this video, Jennifer, don't, I'm just, I'm lying. I ain't telling the truth. I ain't getting stuff. <laughs> really? Oh. <laughs> Bless her heart. She works hard. But that's the plan. I'm going to do that if everything works out and I can get enough money. And I fully intend on getting enough money. I'll, now, all the money I get from scrap from here on out, unless I really need it serious for something, is going to go towards that scooter. And then if I get more than enough, the money's going to go towards making better videos, meaning a, be a better camera, meaning paying somebody to teach me how to use some of this software that I've got that I don't have a clue how to use, uh, meaning a drone. I want a drone. I want one of those drones that can follow me around from above. I see nice shots like that of people scrapping. And it follows you, you know. Yeah, I guess you carry something with you and it follows that by GPS or something. And it has these collision avoidance things on it. keeps it from running into stuff. And if the batteries start going dead on it, it will come back to home base, which will be wherever you're at with that control panel or your phone or whatever it's on. But I, I want one of the, I want to be able to make better videos. I don't, 
I don't mean really polish it up and look professional because I'm not a professional and I'm not going to look professional. I don't talk professional. And I see some people really polishing up their videos and, and uh, I guess some people that's what they want to see, you know. But if I want to see something that polished, I'll go watch documentaries or TV or something, you know. I won't go to YouTube. I go to YouTube to watch average YouTubers. But that's the plan. That is the plan, and I, I'm going uh, and come. I guess it's going to be Tuesday when I go to scrapyard. I'm taking copper, brass, aluminum. I don't think I'm going to take cans. I, I'm going to still keep. Saving my cans uh, for in till November, so I can have money for Christmas shopping and stuff. And plus, I'm keeping my eyes open for a garbage compact. You know, it's a little square machine that sits there in your kitchen, and it's got a bag that goes down in there. It's compactor bag it's called and you put trash and garbage in it and it compacts it so that you don't have so much many bags of trash when you take the trash out and I think it compacts it about uh, well an average trash garbage compactor like that you could put three or four uh, plastic garbage bags full of trash into that thing and it comes out as just one one bag about yay big you know and now I mean and it's heavy but I want to convert it to a can crusher meaning that instead of a plastic bag that I'm gonna set down in there for it to compact that trash in it's gonna be a, a thin sheet metal or sheet aluminum container that I'm going to have somebody make for me that will sit down in there and it will crush that uh, those cans down and then when it gets it completely crushed it to, till it can't get no more in there I can lift that container out and that container is going to have a false bottom in it well it ain't a fault well it's a bottom but it's it's not attached. It's attached one way, but I can flip it over and push that bottom to push them cans out, and hopefully they'll stay together like in a, 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 a bale of, of cans. That's my plan. <laughs> I, there may be some reason that won't work, but I hadn't seen no use garbage uh, compactors around. I mean, you can buy them, but most of the ones that you buy, people don't buy those now that compacts hydraulically or electrically. They compact with a handle or something, because I don't want that. I want one that does it electrically, you know, that turns a screw and it pushes it all the way down till it gets in the mine, and then it'll back off, and then you got more space, and you we used to have one and we got that in 1990 that was the year my grands my oldest grandson was born and my wife and I was raising him from a baby on up he's 29 now and he got to where he was playing with that thing and then he figured out how to pop the little button off, the knob that turned it on and off. And he did something with the knob and I couldn't buy a replacement knob for it and we wound up throwing it away. I could have wrung his stinking neck for that. That was Donovan. Bless his heart. And he liked to play with them knobs. But that's my experience with a compact, and that would have worked just fine. 
But that's my plan on the cans. I'm going to start crushing them. Uh, you know, you can crush them easy enough by hand, you know, stomping on them and stuff like that. And uh, But it's time consuming to do that. I want something where I just throw them in the thing and when it fills up, turn it on, it compacts them down and then you can open it up, you got more room, you throw more in, you wind up with a cube. That's what I want uh, to do. Uh, so I'm not going to sell the cans this week. I, I'm not even going to, I couldn't haul them anyway. Because when I sell the cans, I'm probably going to have to take, uh, get somebody with a pickup or go rent a pickup or something like that. If I have to go like I go with bags of them, and I got bags and bags and bags of them. And it seemed like every, uh, and I got more neighbors now that I, I can, that leave their bags in a bag hanging on the other side, inside of their fence. And I know right where they'll hang them, so I'll notice them and I just go up there and get them. I got a couple of people, Miss Caroline's one of them, they got a can there especially for their cans and they put a plastic bag in it and they fill it up and I'll check that thing once or twice a week and when it gets full I'll take that bag out of there and, and take it home and I got a couple other neighbors that does that and I plan on getting more so I guess I'm trying to make my scrapping profitable or something besides just being for fun. I, I need extra money. I need I, I need to get monetized, you know, if I can get enough subscribers. Uh, but guys, I ain't going to be able to make my, even if I learn how to use, uh, if I, even if I learn how to use the this, I got the Sensei 8 software, it's video pad editor, and even if I learn how to use that pretty good, uh, I'm not still not going to try to polish my ads to look like it's on TV or, or like somebody on TV uh, produced it or whatever. I just, I, it's not in me to do that. To me, that's getting close to scripting. Uh, there will be some movies or some uh, videos of mine that has music in them. Uh, but not so much. I got my introduction at the beginning and my outro, whatever you want to call it, at the end it's got music. And some people have suggested to me, you need to just quit them introduction stuff said people don't look at it well I don't know I have never had anybody complain about it I, I had a couple mention that I don't do them anymore well that's them and their video I cannot imagine my video just starting out BAM with no introduction or nothing about who I am and I can't imagine it ending without that little bit of minute. Besides that, I like the music. And uh, it's my channel, and I like it, and I'm going to use that music. The only way I would stop using it if I had a lot of complaints and negative complaints about it. But I have none, not one complaint. Even the persons that were suggesting not having them they weren't complaining, they were just saying what they did and, it's, and it works for them and it probably does, you know, but there again, it's not me. Uh, and I got a new thing that I'm going to be starting and it's going to be like a two or three minute preview at the very beginning of my videos. I think turned off on me again. I swear this time, I think this GoPro just does that because it likes to aggravate me. You sucker. At least it beeps me when it's doing it. But now I done lost my train of thought. Where was I? Oh, uh, 
it's it's going to be a two or three minute preview of everything that's in the video that you're fixing to watch and there's not going to be any any uh narration or any thing of me running my mouth or anything it's just going to be short pieces of each thing that i'm doing in my video and it's going to have some music with it which i like somebody's going to make that special for me and i hope when he makes it uh he can before he gives me the file he can convert it to uh mp m to an mp3 music file because i know there's a way to talk i know there's a way to take something you got on mp4 video you can convert it to mp3 for audio and I've done try. <laughs> I tried that stuff, and, it just, and that one last time I tried it had me cussing a little bit. But I know there's a way to do it. But and I, but if he don't can't convert it for me, I'm gonna have to figure out how to convert it. Um. But uh, it can be watching for that now it'll probably be a week or two before i start that but the main reason well i don't have no main reason why i want to do that i just think it would be neat that you could see right off the bat what's going to be in there and hopefully keeps you interested long enough to stay there and watch the stuff Cause some people watch a little bit and then they then they shut it down. They don't watch it all. So the the retention and YouTube looks at all that stuff. You know, uh, they they look at what my audience retention is. In other words, and I can go and tell you on each video what the retention is. Sometimes it's all the way through. Sometimes it ain't. Uh, but. Uh, I tell you, this YouTube stuff has got a lot more technical, a lot more to it than I used to think. You know, I used to, my mind was, you pick up the camera, you shoot a few videos, you upload it to, to uh, YouTube, and that's it. But it's not that. You, you got to think about things like the tag taglines you attach to the video and all that stuff and the tagline has got to be about stuff that's in your video you just can't go putting anything up there you wanted and i was doing that for a, a long time till i realized you're not supposed to do that and it's detrimental to your channel um i've only had two copyright strikes before I realized what was causing that and what was causing it I was doing a video and some background music was playing that had nothing to do with my video and that is a copyright strike unless you happen to have, have permission to use that and it could be a radio playing I did one video one time and it was driving me nuts why are they giving me that copyright? I'm playing no music in there. And turns out when I was sitting there running my mouth, sitting in the car, the radio was on and a little bit of music come on there for about five or ten seconds. And that's what was giving me the copyright strike. So you have to think about all that stuff. So it's a lot more to it than I thought. But, you know, it's fun. I enjoy it. I may wind up to make some money at it. I don't know. But anyway, that's my plans in a nutshell of what I want to do. I will upload this video tomorrow, which is Sunday. Uh, there'll be two videos tomorrow. There'll be the one that's already scheduled to upload, and there'll be this one. Um... 
and I forget now why I decided to do that because I, I can't even remember the content in my video for tomorrow but it's not a normal video so maybe that's why I don't know anyway folks that's the plan and if any of you got any any kind of suggestions or something I could do that I'm not doing or something you would like me to do uh, just anything you know gosh let me know my email is junkdauber at gmail.com and you and I'll guarantee you I'll respond I'll probably respond to you quicker on email than I do on the comments of course I try to respond or at least give a heart or a like to, to the comments but yeah anything you can think of you know that you would like to see or like to see me do now I'm going to do a live video uh, I'm not at first I was going to do it more with my family but I've decided against that because my daughter comes off as very rude and disrespectful to me and maybe she is kind of but, but maybe she's not you know it, she's just very hyper she's wound up all the time and I worry about it all the time that that it's gonna kill her and god i don't want to lose another kid i don't know i mean i ain't worried about the finances i mean if, if something happened to her like that we're well provided for but i would rather have her than the money and them boys had too uh, but it's, it's pretty much the live one's going to be me and I may include my dog the dog I've got left and my 11 year old grandson Donovan might chime in there a little bit but my daughter she's not really interested in it and people kind of get put off by the way she sounds in which uh, it's not she talks loud because I'm hard of hearing and she thinks when she says something to me and I say what and she'll say it again and then she'll say it louder and if I say it a third time she's like ballistic and she don't understand the higher you go in, in decimals the harder it is for me to understand it. I mean, hearing aid, I got, uh, of course, I'm missing one hearing aid. The last time I was in the hospital, it was, I think it was stolen or got, accidentally got swept away or something. I don't know. But I'm missing one hearing aid in my left ear. So my hearing is off. Uh, when you can only hear out of one ear like I can, you can hear a sound and you can't tell if it's coming from over there or over here or back there. All you do is you hear the sound, you don't know where it's coming from. And because I have people talking to me and I think they're talking to somebody else. Uh, so I don't hear good and, and she hollers when I, she don't hear me. And of course, people normally uh, they get aggravated with people that's really hard of hearing. You see it all the time. Uh, I mean, I remember it when I was younger, and this guy named Weaver Cochran, he was hard of hearing, and people just quit talking to him because he was so hard of hearing, and he was always saying, huh, 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 you know, and which is sad. Uh, Matter of fact, come Monday, I'm going to call the VA up. I got to go back in there and get me another replacement aid for this year. Um, 
Plus, I gotta go have a denture repair or a new dentures made. I'm, I'm wanting to start wearing my teeth again. But they got some chip places on it that's really hurting my uh, gums when I put them in. And uh, one of my subscribers, Rock of Ages, uh, told me to get out the knife and start whittling on that thing. And I tried that, but it don't seem to help it. But, <sighs> do I look like I'm confused? I'm confused because I don't know what the heck I was talking about. <laughs> I don't know what I was talking about. <laughs> that gun it. What was it? What was it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> it was, oh boy. Ooh. You know what? That'd make a good billy club. Oh. Don't do that again. That, that give me a hand. I don't know where I was at. I hope I was at the end. If not, I'll come up with it. So, hope you get something out of this rambling on I've been doing for the last probably 30 minutes. Maybe more. But, um, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. And I hope the sun's shining tomorrow and that sucker did it again. Sit there and beat and turned off. I don't get it. I don't get it. Where was I at? I was signing off. I hope the sun's shining. I still got a couple hours of daylight left and it ain't raining right now. Better not try it. Okay. See you on the next one. GoPro, turn on. I mean, nah. Uh, GoPro, stop recording. <laughs>